Today we're learning how to make this modern PowerPoint presentation all the way from scratch. This presentation gives you the illusion that you're scrolling down on one single page because of the image in the background. Let's start from a blank page, add an image, a portrait image, right click crop and make sure it fills the entire page. Duplicate this slide and now drag the image within the crop area from the bottom all the way to the top of the page so it connects with the previous slide. Next, we want to add a push transition and set the duration to about two seconds. This gives the illusion that both slides are connected. Now we want to add a gradient to the slides. So add a rectangle, format and gradient, and make sure the two colors are the same. Take the top part of the gradient and increase the transparency to 100% and the bottom one to 25. Copy this gradient to the second slide and reverse it so the top one becomes 25 so it connects and the bottom one goes all the way to zero. Let's preview again. And here we can see that the gradient also connects on the slides. Create a new slide and format the background to a full blue slide. Duplicate the first two slides and drag them downwards. Take the gradient from the last one and turn it 180 degrees to put it on the fourth slide and drag the lighter gradient to the last slide. Also turn it 180 degrees, center it and then connect them with a push transition. Now we have the framework available. Let's preview. And here we can see we go from a picture to a blue slides and then back to pictures again with a nice fade in between. Let's add a title, text box, type in modern, change the font to Montserrat and increase the font size and make it white. And add a subtitle, PowerPoint, increase the font size and go for a brush script. Change the color to something very flashy like a neon color this green will fit nicely and add a drop shadow to both on the modern just a regular drop shadow and on powerpoint a drop shadow which reflects on the modern on the second slide add a text box with 0 1 change the font and increase the font size by quite a lot right click the text box format shape text options and add transparency to the text and also add a title which goes over it that makes the 01 a little bit more subtle. Add a text box, change the formatting and position it correctly. Select everything, all track, option drag and create a copy. And change the number to 2. Select both text boxes and copy them on the third slide. Change the numbers to 3 and 4 because that's what we want. And then let's add some style elements. Here I'm going for a circle, make it white and add an icon. Duplicate that two times, add different icons. You can really choose whatever you want. Change the middle one to a blue color. This gives us a nice color palette. And at the bottom, we're going to add a chart. You can add it via chart function. I'm just going to draw it. This gives me a little bit more control. Add some lines in the background. Select them all, distribute vertically, group them, right click transform and reduce the transparency so they're more subtle. Group everything together and make sure it's nicely centered. On the next slide we're going to add a smart art, add the wording that you want and change the formats of these circles. Change the colors and on top let's add a pie chart. So insert pie chart, reduce the size Remove the outlines. I always remove the outlines and then give it your custom colors. Let's give the bottom one the same custom colors. And on the next slide, we add a quote. So a text box with quite a large text. Don't be afraid to go too large. And add a fine line underneath with the author of the quote. Some quotation marks. Could be an icon, could be text, doesn't matter. And position it nicely. Go to the first slide, copy the text and duplicate it to the last one, change the wording to thanks for watching, and then we are finished. Make sure the transitions are right and preview. Now you know how to make this nice modern PowerPoint. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.